Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Falashadi Ogurinde. President Mohamed Bari has said he is eager to leave office, adding that being in charge of the country's affairs has been a toll for fear. Buhari said this on Monday when he hosted some governors, legislators and all Progressive Congress APC chieftains at his Dara home in Kasuna State. President Buhari however added that he would do his best before handing over power to the winner of the 2023 presidential election. The National Peace Committee NPC has urged the people of Oshun State to once again come out en masse to exercise their civic rights to vote without fear of violence. Chairman of the NPC, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, in a statement on Monday, explained that at the heart of the nation's democratic society is the opportunity for the citizens to choose those who would lead them. Abubakar also announced that a peace accord will be signed by the various political parties and stakeholders on 13th July 2022 in Oshobo, the Oshun State Capital. The Federal High Court has issued new practice directions that allows for virtual hearing of cases and electronic service for of notices on lawyers. This is to provide for a fair, impartial and expeditious determination of pre-election cases. Also to ensure speedy dispensation of justice, electronic mail and other electronic means may be employed by the court in order to inform counsel of urgent court case events. Another Omicron subvariant of the coronavirus pandemic is spiking up cases in the United States as more people appear to be contracting the virus multiple times in relatively quick succession. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the BA5 variant is now the most dominant strain of the COVID-19 in the country. Total figures by the CDC reveal that 31,000 people across the U.S are currently hospitalized with the virus, with admissions up 4.5% compared to a week ago. Nigeria attracted a sum of $223.3 million as foreign direct investments, FDI, in the first five months of 2022, representing a 3.7% increase compared to $215.3 million recorded in the corresponding period of the previous year. In contrast to the comparable period of 2020, FDI declined by 7.5% compared to $241.5 million received in the reference period. Nigeria's foreign direct investment has dwindled significantly recently, hitting a record low of $698.8 million in 2021, most of which was equity. The United Nations Security Council is set to continue crucial cross-border aid to millions of people in northwestern Syria on to January, according to diplomats. After days of wrangling with Russia over the huge operation, the 15-member Security Council is expected to vote on the draft resolution for a six-month extension put forward by Ireland and Norway on Tuesday. The operation to, de to deliver food, medicine and shelter to the opposition-controlled area of Syria began in 2014 but expired on Sunday. And in sports, Ukraine will launch its new football season despite Russia's ongoing invasion, the country's sports minister has announced. The minister said the matches of the new season will be held in the territory of Ukraine but without spectators and with mandatory observance of all safety rules. Ukrainian football clubs decided in April to end the previous season early after it was suspended following Russia's invasion. And that's it on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Fola Shadi, or Green Day. Bye for now.